All right, folks, it's Pitching Ace 88, and we are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook. Case number 50, the last additional investigation before the end of this district. I might say this investigation was like fighting snakes, but you handled it really well, Inspector Ace. Good job. Speaking about snakes, this Adam Bentley is still troubling me. He is in Howard Johnson's entourage, and he seems to be at every Red Party's event. However, he was also spotted at Martha Price's political rallies. How is it possible for us to still know nothing about him when he seems to show up everywhere? The elections are pretty close now. I refuse to let him put the candidates at risk. I'm taking matters in my own hands, Specter Ace, and you'll accompany me. Okay. Ace, once you're done with Adam, I'd like to check up on Beatrice Vane. She just lost her husband, after all. Ace, Harper Stone just called. One of her snakes is apparently on the loose. It could harm people. Ugh, not another snake. I'm sorry, Ace. Would you mind having to take Nathan with you on this? He knows far more about animals than I do. I'll be fine just checking on Beatrice. Ha. <laughs> But Ace, between her, Adam, and Harper Snake, you have plenty of work to do. I always do, man. Always have plenty of work. What's up, Adam? Mr. Bentley, I am Samuel King, Chief of our Police Department, and I have questions about your implication in our mayor's campaign. I fail to see the problem, sir. I'm just interested in politics. Anyway, I have to hurry. Can we talk later? I'm afraid not. The elections are approaching... The elections, exactly. That's why I don't have time. Please, Inspector Ace, I don't want to impose on you or the Grimsborough police chief himself, but I've lost an important letter. I must have dropped it somewhere in the smoking room. Please, could you give me a hand and search for it? You have an eye for these kind of things. The police isn't here to retrieve every lost document in the city, Mr. Bentley. However, we'll help you just this once to make sure you'll stop snooping around. Alright, if you think that that's best, we can do that. Finally, you're here, Inspector Ace. I'm glad you brought reinforcements. Joe, my cottonmouth snake, has escaped. I don't want him to get hurt. He's the nicest snake ever, but people... Well, you know how they are. They could attack him. A cottonmouth? I haven't seen one in ages. It's dangerous looking and pretty venomous. It could cause panic. Oh, Joe wouldn't hurt a fly. He's one of my oldest snakes. Just like a pet with scales, really. Well, nevertheless, better catch him fast for his own safety. Ace, we can take a look around the opera. What do you think? I think it's a fantastic idea. Hello, Mrs. Vane. Inspector Ace wants to make sure how you were holding up. We know things must be difficult times for you. And they're even harder now. Someone stole a lovely harp escort Roland gave to me years ago, and now it's it now and is now using it to play some of the most evil sounding melodies I've ever heard. Not only is it ruining my memories of Roland playing sweet tunes to me, but it's scaring the entire company. I don't know what to do anymore. Well Beatrice, Inspector Ace is best as retrieving stolen objects. We'll find this harp escort in no time. Let's have a look around the place. But you want to bet that it's the Phantom of the Opera doing this? Ooh, uh. Oh wow, I've been here. Yeah, there you go. Stake, broken interest instrument. Uh, we got rat, roses. Laser, radio, apple, bottle of water, sriracha mask, poster, gold chains, can't remember where those are. There they are. Perfect. Ace, this must be the instrument that was stolen from Beatrice, but it's been shattered to pieces. Don't you think it sounds like one of the Phantom's tricks? Scaring people with awful melodies is probably a hobby to that freak. But you're right, Ace, let's fix this instrument first and foremost so Beatrice can have it back. Alright, I'm gonna stop real quick because I'm getting a little flashing at the bottom here and I'm not sure if it's showing up in the recording, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, I'm hoping that in this bottom corner, you know, it's not flashing or showing up. Apologize for that. For those of you guys who are just watching, if you guys could be very nice and throw down a like in the bottom, that'd be fantastic. Right, one cigarette, boxing glove, crocodile, cigar box, pocket watch, snake, hat, lighter, spider. There we go. Oh yeah! Well done, Inspector Ace. I see you managed to find the letter Mr. Bentley lost. As much as I object to you wasting your time on some trivial matters, I appreciate your help in this. 
colors of this letter are familiar, but I can't read the text. Could you make it legible, Inspector Ace? We must know why Adam wanted this letter back so badly. Yeah, I don't I don't blame you. There's there's something amiss going there. Like I said, I think he's either gonna be the killer or he's gonna be the one getting murdered. Same thing that happened to Rachel Priest, same thing that happened to Madison Ivy. Alright, so we got Rose, Handkerchief, Wig, Ticket, Snake Eye. Uh, monster mask, megaphone, live snake, uh, curtain, ladder, viking helmets here. I don't know where this liar is. Oh, that's what it is. Great job, Ace. You found the mist stone stake. It does look pretty tame, but we better be careful all the same. You know, it seems a little fat, even for a cottonmouth, and it doesn't look like it's feeling too good. Actually, it looks like it has eaten something way too big for its stomach. Ace, let's take Joe back to the lab. I need might need to perform surgery. Oh, Lord. Analyze the sick snake. All right, well, while you're analyzing this snake, let's uh, do the rest of the stuff. Gonna be here, yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Wait, whoa! Wow, did a good job on that. Holy crap! Nice job, Ace's harp score looks as if it had never been broken. Beatrice will be pleased. Let's go bring it back to her. Yeah, no problem bringing it back to her. I got a plenty of stars. I'm only missing one final star, which is gonna be the one after we get the snake. Of course, this is Adam Bentley from the Reds Party Final Rally. Good job, Inspector Ace. I knew this letter looked familiar. This is an invitation to the Red Party's final meeting. This cannot be. Howard only invited very important members of the party. Mr. Bentley must have forged this invitation for devious purposes. Let's go talk to him, Inspector Ace. Alright, you're getting a little too into this. My invitation. Tell me you found it, Inspector Ace. Without it, I won't be able to attend the meeting and... Cut it out, Mr. Bentley. I want an explanation. How did you get an invitation to the Red Party's conference? You're not a member, and we know you're also involved in the Blue Party. Well, you're wrong. I'm a member of the Red Party. The mayor knows he has my support. Not that my political opinions are any of the police's business. Well, this is our business when it might compromise the election security. I don't buy your sudden political turnaround, Mr. Bentley. I hope you know how dangerous the game you're playing is. I'm not playing any game, no offense sir, but my foster brother has just been killed and my life in Maple Heights isn't easy. I think I'm allowed a little bit right. I know what I'm doing and I have ways to protect myself. Nonetheless, you spared me a lot of trouble. Inspector Ace, take this gift. Grim's Road PD deserves it. He keeps giving us money. We've actually gotten quite a bit of money from him. Can't really complain too much. You found Roland's Harvest Court. Oh, thank you so much, Inspector Ace. It means the world to me. You're most welcome, but you should be careful. We think Gerald Riverton might have stole. Poof. Yes, it was me. I stole the Harpist score. I played it with all the passion, all the grandeur a true opera master such as me has to display. I wanted to play it until my fervor set it on fire, but it broke down under my passionate fingers. What a shame. Poof. Darn it, Beatrice. Do you want to press charges against this lunatic? We'll be most happy to. No, there's no need. I guess my poor husband should have not dismissed Gerald so harshly. He's harmless. I'd like to thank you for what you did, Inspector Ace. Please accept these clothes. They're from my favorite opera. They'll be perfect for your next visit. Uh, I'm not wearing that hat. Or that hair style. Sorry, that's not me. Boys, guys, I want to see you guys in six hours. Because you know what six hours means. It means we get to go over and figure out what Case 51 is all about. So while you guys are waiting, throw a like down below. Thank you guys very much. See you guys in a little bit. Au revoir. All right, guys, let's finish off the snake. Well, the surgery was a success, Ace. I extracted a mass of objects from the snake's body. It definitely has had eyes bigger than its stomach. Something in there must have made it sick. We better make sure of that. Would you mind sorting through this while I stitch Joe back up, Ace? Okay, perfect. I don't think I'm actually going to have to research anything. Ooh. Wow, that was quick. Holy crap. Perfect job as always, Ace. And so Joe ate a scepter? 
Seriously, I'm not even talking about the other mess it had in its stomach. Harper's got a compulsive eater on her hands. Well, let's bring Joe back to Harper and the scepter to the opera, I guess. Let's go. Wow, that was interesting. <laughs> Miss Harper, Inspector Ace found your snake. It was right. It was in a spot of trouble after eating an opera prop, but we fixed it up right away. An opera prop? Oh, that silly snake just can't resist eating whatever it's passing by. Thank you so much for taking care of him, Inspector Ace. It was our pleasure. I've always found snakes to be fascinating, and Joe's a really nice specimen. Funnily enough, I've got a tattoo that looks like a lot like it. Although I can't really show it because it's... I had it tattooed on... Well, never mind. Forget I said anything. Haha, <laughs> I see. Maybe another time. Anyway, thanks again for what you did, Inspector Ace. Why don't you have a burger at the opera's restaurant? It's on me. Heck yeah, I'll take that. Inspector Ace, the elections are about to end soon, and I would like to insist on one point. I will not tolerate any crime whatsoever else happening on election day. Am I making myself clear? Many people will be out in the streets to celebrate or support their candidate, and things could easily go wrong. We must be on top of things. I will personally take care of our mayor's protection on election day, and I want you to be on the lookout until then. Now, I need to handle the preparations. I'll see you later. Wow, Ch Ch King Chief King really is on the warpath. I feel relieved when elections are done. Do you know who you'll be voting for, Ace? <sighs> Both of them are on in interesting campaigns. But anyways, guys, we're going to figure all that out when Case 51 comes by. See you guys all in a little bit. It's Pitching Ace 88, over and out.